Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is Kamran Akhtar Siddiqui. Assalamu alaikum to all of you. Welcome to this video on uh, good newsletters. Now, uh, if you talk about the approach that we follow for good newsletters, that is direct approach. Because we are supposed to convey a good news, the reaction uh, from the audience, from the reader will be positive or it may be neutral. So we use direct approach. Now, when we use direct approach, uh, you must be sure that we write three paragraphs. Okay, so there are basically three parts in the body of uh, the letter. The first is uh, main idea. This is the first paragraph and we just reveal the good news over here. And then in second paragraph, we give explanation of uh, the good news, anything related, anything, any specific detail related to the good news. And then in the third paragraph, we uh, close our letter by using appropriate uh, friendly terms. This is a sample of a good news letter. If you have watched videos on the letter format, the letter format will be quite, uh, you know, easy to grab. Otherwise, I just skim that this is the in uh, this is the sender's address. This is one line of space and then date, then one line space, uh, the recipient's address, and then we write subject, obviously after one line space, uh, one line space after subject also, then dear Mr. Khan, which is the salutation part, and one line space once again after that, then we come to these three paragraphs. Now, if you see, the first paragraph says that we are pleased to inform you that you have been selected for internship at Atlas Honda Limited, Sakha. Now, we are simply revealing the bad news over here and there is uh, nothing else mentioned. Uh, one thing to be sure uh, to make sure is that you use terms like pleased, happy, glad or you may also use the terms like congratulations. You have been shortlisted for this position or that position in this organization. So you have to keep the tone of uh, this paragraph quite happy. Then second paragraph says Atlas Honda has been providing internship opportunities to young aspirants since 1985. Now this is this is a kind of a statement which I call appreciative statement for the organization. It is better to start the second paragraph with such sentence because it sets the ground for the uh, for the reader to grab the ideas and for the writer to connect the ideas. And it will be pleasing for you to have gained the chance to earn this internship. Your credentials, that is seven semesters of study at the Business Institute, matched our criteria and hence you were picked among many others. Now, th in this particular part, you see the writer is trying to justify why, why this particular person was shortlisted uh, and not others. What are the things that actually enable this person to be the finalist. So you have to uh, be sure that you keep all or at maximum the five W's over here of completeness. And then any other detail, your internship starts from 1 March 2016. So any other detail regarding following uh, future events can also be mentioned. Then one line space after that. Uh, in paragraph three, we simply close our letter with future, you know, oriented statements, future looking statements and appropriate friendly terms. For example, we are looking forward to have a nice experience working with you. Best of luck. So this is a good news letter that uh, we draft for our uh, readers. So. This is called complimentary close. Yours truly followed by comma signature and the person who is writing the letter and then his designation. Uh, for detailed discussion on the letter format, you must uh, you are advised to watch videos on the letter format. In that, I have discussed the format in detail. Uh, I hope this video on uh, good newsletter will help you grab the idea. Thanks.